What do you think about when you're driving down the street? Errands you have to run, grocery shopping you have to do, maybe another cup of coffee you need. You're probably not thinking about what's underneath your tires, though. No, unless you're hitting potholes, yeah. you're probably not thinking about that. But you know what? There's one street in Pittsburgh that really stands out. In fact, it is a street that stands out across the nation. So today, we're doing something special. We're going back in the KDKA archives <laughs> for a story that we did for the magazine series you might remember called Your Pittsburgh. So it is a story about Pittsburgh's only wooden street. It's a street actually made out of wood and it makes Pittsburgh. It's one of the reasons this city is so unique. If you live on Roslyn Place in Shadyside, you get used to an occasional sightseer. You'll always see people like this down on the ground looking at the bricks and like trying to figure out about it. The reason is the bricks aren't brick bricks. Look closely. They're actually wooden blocks. 26,000 blocks of wood. We get a lot of looky loos. So, yeah. But which is nice though. And people ask questions, they'll walk down the street and we'll give them a little history. The history begins with Thomas Rod, an engineer who lived in this home and in 1914 decided to create a small street on his property with 18 houses. What made it unusual is is the paving of the street with wood block, something very popular at the beginning of the 20th century in Britain. At one point, wood streets helped quiet the sound of horse-drawn carriages, but why Rod chose it is a bit of a mystery. It's quite possible that he said, well, I can get a very high quality pavement for very little money. What size you got, Carl? Amazingly, the street held up until it had to be replaced in 1985, as you see in this vintage KDKA story with Bill Flanagan. To get an idea of the toll time takes on a wooden street, all you have to do is compare one of the new blocks to one of the old ones. After 71 years, they shrink. One of the men hard at work back then was Augie Cardillo. This is Augie today. He says out of all his assignments over the years, this street stood out. <laughs> I didn't know what to think. <laughs> we just got on it and started working. That was it. Recently, people on Roslyn Place celebrated the street's 100th anniversary. It even has an historical marker. And as for its future, it's due for a little love this year from Public Works. We got some wooden potholes and we got to take care of those. While it takes effort to buy oak and cut it into blocks for the repairs, fear not, Roslyn Place lovers, there's no plan to pave this over. I liken it to the cobble. I think the cobble streets have such character around our city. We've covered too many of them up. You think it's safe? I think it's safe for a long time. How and interesting. It's right off of Ellsworth, and it really is unique. And the reason they did it was, at the time, it was cheaper than putting cobblestones down. It's cobblestones really cool. would last longer, but you know what? I actually think the wood lasted a long time. You know, I think about this, too. When we see water main breaks mm -hmm. in our city, which happens oh my gosh. often, right? And you think about the work that goes into the repair. Could you imagine if something happened like that there and having to replace... The wooden block, oh, don't right? even say it, yeah, Heather. No. It, but it is. It's a labor of love watching them replace it in 1985. And like even making the repairs a couple of years ago when you did the story, I'm sure it was very labor intensive. Yeah. So. But you know what I love? It makes Pittsburgh unique. It Having does. stuff like that is, you know, it's not just the people in Pittsburgh. It's that too. Uh, and the only other state that we're aware of that has a wooden street like that, Alaska still does. Philadelphia got rid of their last wooden street. Wow. So anyway, we went back into the KDKA archives for that story. So we wanted to share it with you.